Well, today I want to dive into a topic that I absolutely love talking about, and that's how to save money with core cutting. The truth is for about 90, well, let's be overly optimistic, let's say 80% of Americans even are the ones who can do this, can get everything they want and save money with cord cutting. Now, it takes a little bit of work, a little bit of preparation. It's not something that is um, easy to do because you have to do some of the work yourself to make this happen. But with just a tiny bit of work on your part, you can save tons. Now, you've probably seen the articles recently that say, hey, you can't save money with cord cutting. You might as well stay with cable. You, you can almost hear the cable executives say, you know what, that, that's too much work. You can't save money. Let us tell you what to do and how to save money. <laughs> but the reality is, yes, you can save money with cord cutting. You need to do a little research. You need to do a little planning. And you need to shop around a bit. And we're going to be here to help you. Now, this is a very basic introduction to cord cutting. We're going to do a whole series of videos here. And this is bare bones new beginner, getting started kind of stuff with cord cutting. So hang on, let's take a look at this and I'll help, hopefully help you save over $1,000 a year with cord cutting. Now let's take a look at why I became a cord cutter and what I was paying. So when my wife and I, we had our daughter, we were looking at paying off some credit cards and some other stuff and we started going through it like, okay, let's cut back on shopping, let's cut back on eating out, let's do this, let's do that. Then we kind of looked at TV. We're like, wow. So we're already paying for Netflix and Amazon because we love the Amazon shipping. Watching Amazon videos is a great benefit. Netflix, most Americans I think now have Netflix. And we're paying $112 a month to DirecTV. Uh, that includes DVR and a middle tier package. It was even the most expensive package. And nowadays, that was five years ago, that's probably cost a lot more for that same package nowadays. So we sat down and said, well, you know, in reality, we're paying probably 130 something with everything added together a month. So let's look at ditching all this and becoming core cutters. So we started looking at the savings. Well, DirecTV was costing us $1,344 a year. With cord cutting, we were paying $9 a month for Netflix, $99 a year or $8.25 a month for Amazon. We thought, well, we could add $8 for Hulu on there get shows the next day because we were a couple who didn't watch TV a lot, live at least. We watched a lot of our DVR the next day, two days later, and most of the shows we found were already on Hulu. So that saved us tons of money there. So we looked at a new total core card budget of $25.25 a month, $303 a year, a savings of $1,041. That was pretty awesome. Now you're probably saying, wait, 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 what happens for the shows you can't get on there? Well, you know, for this was five years ago. If there was a show we didn't get on Hulu or we weren't willing to wait for it, because we found often too, if we were willing to wait, they would appear on Netflix and other services in a big bulk drop, and we could just binge watch them like crazy. Um, we bought season passes for about 20 bucks. You can buy a season pass to a show. We bought one or two shows a year um, on Amazon to do that, and that would still save us about a thousand dollars a year off of that and it was pretty cool and back then in um five years ago this was before live tv streaming services came out so this was a great option add in an antenna if you live in an area with an antenna to get your fox abc nbc's etc for free once you buy the antenna it's a pretty good deal my costs today have changed a little bit um we now have uh ten dollars a month for Netflix was the original price, Amazon and Hulu are the same. Sling TV, now I'm a huge college football fan, so for six months a year, I get their basic plus sports package. Um, there's a lot more services out there now. I'll probably shop around and try out other ones. For work, I have them all, but I'm talking about just what I do in my home. If we had stayed with cable, over the last five years, we would have paid six thousand seven hundred twenty dollars. That doesn't that assumes no price increase, none. So it's probably more like seven thousand dollars in savings. But you know, if you're somebody who says I have to have it live, well, nowadays there's a ton of streaming services that will give you live. Sling TV starts at twenty bucks a month for thirty channels. Direct TV now, I want to say it's sixty channels. I don't, I can't remember the number of channels, but thirty five bucks a month. Fubo 35, YouTube TV available in about 10 markets right now, $35. Fox 
PlayStation View for $39.99 now. That is the new price. Um, they got rid of their slim packages. So if you're signing up today, it's $39.99. Hulu for $39.99 and more. Now, one thing to remember about Hulu, that includes their limited commercial streaming service. So it's really like a $32 add-on-ish, which is round that off right there. So these services are how I watch football. I mean, you name the channel, you can pretty much find all the channel. Even Showtime and HBO are available as add-ons and more. So live TV is very cheap. And with the average cable bill being $100 just for TV, just TV, $100 on there. Looking at even the $40 PlayStation View or Hulu option can save a lot of people money. I talked to some people and they're triple bundles were over 200 bucks a month so check these out shop around there's even a growing number of other services out charter and CenturyLink, or charter spectrum tv service i should say now and CenturyLink just rolled out live tv streaming services so check them out and shop around they all offer free trials so my recommendation try them all pick the one you like the best well how are you gonna watch this on the tv Right now, on average, the average American pays at least ten bucks a month in, um, in rentals for like a DVR. And if you compare that, it's one hundred twenty dollars a year to rent a DVR that you don't own. Um, and then you look at like Roku and Fire, starting at thirty bucks, and Fire TV at forty. You even the most expensive one is one hundred and forty nine for the Apple TV. Recommended retail now all these go on sale so shop around keep your eyes open buy used buy refurbished i buy a lot of refurbished on amazon now and i find that's a great way to save money and lower costs right there and the great thing about this is once you buy it you still you own it my uh, roku hd which is the very first roku I ever bought very first streaming player I ever owned i bought on ebay it's still running strong no issues so it's in closet now every now and then i for a video for a review to compare like the progress of roku i'll take it out it still works so check that out you know you think about it you look at a the cost right here is a fraction of what I was paying with DirecTV now I would have paid six seven thousand dollars in that same time frame I'm paying a fraction of that now and the great thing about all these services is you don't have any long-term commitments here sling TV DirecTV Now, Fubo, YouTube, PlayStation View, Hulu, all offer month-to-month -month billing. They're prepaid, like a prepaid cell phone service, think of them. And that means you're not locked into a contract. And you can add and drop them whenever you want. You just go online, you renew your subscription, you cancel your subscription, it takes a few moments, no problem. But you're probably saying, Luke, I need internet, right? Well, yeah, that is true. Um, I haven't listed internet because internet was totally separate from my DirecTV bill. It was not at all included in that $112 a month fee. So it wasn't a factor when we were looking at becoming cord cutters. Now I currently pay a hundred or excuse me, $29.99 a month for Spectrum, a 100 down and 10 up. I do that because I shop around. Um, I often will switch between DSL internet, which offers um, 60 down. I, th I think I saw a sign on my street that they were now offering 100 down. Those little tent signs that I like to uh, throw around neighborhoods. And um, I was on that for a little while. Then I switched back to Spectrum for their $29.99 down plan. And every couple of years, I, sh I, I jump back and forth. Now, even if you don't want to shop or, or uh, switch services, I recommend you shop around so you know what's out there. Cable companies in particular really hate giving deals to people who are downgrading. So if you're going from a triple play bundle or even just TV and internet down to just internet, for instance, they're not going to give you the best deal because they want you in the triple play bundle because they make more money off of that. And they can hide more fees and all kinds of stuff in it. But if you know what your competitors in that market are offering, CenturyLink, AT&T, you know, the list goes on and on. That gives you a very powerful bargaining position. In my case, I was able to get new customer pricing because I swapped back and forth. They weren't giving me a good deal. I spent um, about a year with CenturyLink and then I switched back to Spectrum for $29.99 for a one year lock in rate on that. And it really, it's worth it. I find a uh, hour or two on the phone once a year can save my family hundreds of dollars. So check it out, shop around on your internet and give this a try.
Now, my number one recommendation is not to rush into this. Most people get in trouble with cord cutting when they just cancel cable and they dive into it. I've heard from many people, oh, hey, I canceled my uh, my uh, Comcast today and they shut it off. How am I going to watch this show or that show tonight? My number one recommendation before you go cancel your cable company, set yourself up as a cord cutter. Use the free trials, buy the devices, set up your antenna so that you go into it knowing, okay, I found all the shows I want. I have all the TVs in my house set up to watch what I want, when I want, how I want it. Now I will cancel. And that makes for a much smoother, much more enjoyable transition to becoming a cord cutter. It also helps you save money. Whether it be with the shopping around on internet or shopping around for the best deal on streaming players. Whether that be shopping on eBay, Amazon, and so on to get refurbished units or just to find a sale on a unit. It's a lot cheaper than saying, oh, I need a streaming player now. I'm running to Walmart and going to buy one. The other thing is to really consider what you currently own. Like I talked about how I already subscribed to Amazon and um, Hulu. I also already had a PlayStation 3. I was a, and still am a big gamer and realized that, hey, I have the ability to um, have um, this be my main streaming player. I don't need to buy a set top box for my living room because my PlayStation will do that. Maybe you have a smart TV on and on and on. So check it out. Take your time. Get started with core cutting. You can save money. And as I show you right here, $6,720 is what I would have spent. I've spent a fraction of that. I've gone on from $112 a month to less than 50 even when I'm paying for services like Sling TV. Well, if you have questions, comments, let me know. Feel free to follow us on social media, uh, facebook.com slash News and Twitter at News, or join our Core Cutting Tech Support page on group, I should say, on Facebook. Just search for Core Cutting Tech Support. You'll find a description in there that says owned by Core Cars News. And there's 21,000 people there right now, willing, able, and ready to help you learn more about core cutting. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're also here on YouTube and on our Facebook page answering core cutting related questions for an hour from 8 until 9 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday to help you get the most out of your core cutting experience. So this is just the first video in a series of videos we're going to make. Hopefully this will help you get started in your core cutting journey. We really hope that we can help you save money by breaking free of the high costs of cable. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more guides like this and good luck in your core cutting journey.